has been some time since I've done a Disney video for you, so I thought it was time I get back into it. And today I'm going to be talking to you about The Rescuers, which was released in 1977. And I'm assuming I saw this at least once while I was a kid, but I really didn't remember anything about the story, characters, or plot, really anything about it going into it, watching it now. Before the credits even roll, the movie begins with a ship and a girl dropping a bottle into the water that contains a message asking for help. A song plays that says, Rescue Me. Then the credits roll. It still is a pretty long opening credit sequence, so they haven't strayed away from that yet. Then we see some mice find the bottle and then cut to the United Nations in New York. The mice are in what I can only assume is the basement of the building, and they have their own organization called the Rescue Aid Society. Penny is the girl who sent the message asking for help. She was hoping to get it to Morningside Orphanage in New York. Bianca is the delegate from Hungary for the Rescue Aid Society. She asks for this to be her assignment looking into the message and finding the girl. The other mice don't think Bianca can handle it on her own because she is a woman and that she should have a co-agent escort her. When they ask for a volunteer, every man raises their hand. Bianca tells them it's a difficult decision for her to make. Then she chooses Mr. Bernard, the janitor, to join her. Bernard and Bianca head out into the dark rainy night to try and find this orphanage. Bernard tells Bianca the directions and she says they should take a shortcut through the zoo. Bernard tells her it could be risky. She says, remember our pledge? She begins, through storm and rain and dark of night. And then Bernard finishes the pledge by saying, never fail to do what's right. Once they start to enter the zoo, Bianca starts having second thoughts and says, it's so dark in there, maybe we should turn around. Bernard, trying to be tough, says, the dark? Who's afraid of the dark? You stay here and I'll check it out. Then you hear a growl and Bernard comes running out. So they decide to take the long way after all. They find the orphanage and come across a box with Penny's belongings. It says, hold until further notice. They don't notice the cat sleeping nearby. Now remember, they're mice and they aren't noticing this cat sleeping nearby. The cat tells them, look here. If people find out that mice moved in here, I'll get kicked out and lose my job. They tell him not to worry and that they won't be here long. He replies, oh good. I'm too old to be chasing mice. Bernard asks if he could tell them where Penny is. He tells them she ran away. They ask him, when was the last time you saw her? Was there anything unusual going on? Eventually, we find out that the cat's name is Rufus. He tells them Penny was on her bed and was sad because it was adoption day and the couple who came to see her ended up adopting a little red-headed girl. Rufus did his best to reassure Penny that someone else would come along and she should keep the faith. During this flashback scene, Rufus and Penny bond and become best buds. He tells Bernard and Bianca she seemed happy, but the next thing I knew, she was gone. The police gave up looking for her. Bernard says, I just can't believe Penny would run away, Mr. Rufus. Please think there must be something else. Rufus responds, come to think of it, there was. Then he says, nah, it's nothing. Penny wouldn't get in with her. Bernard and Bianca ask, who? Rufus says, a weird lady trying to give Penny a ride, but she wouldn't have anything to do with them trashy people, he continued. She and her partner run a sleazy pawn shop downtown, so that won't do you any good. Bernard says, but we have to find her. Rufus replies, but you're just two little mice. What can you do? 
At this point, I thought this could be a foreshadowing of later on in the story. Medusa's Pawn Shop is the name of the shop. Bianca and Bernard go there and they overhear Madame Medusa on the phone and she mentions diamonds. Her partner on the other end of the line is supposed to have found them. She also mentions Penny. Madame Medusa gave me Cruella de Vil vibes and she even drives like her. Bernard and Bianca jump inside of Madame Medusa's suitcase in order to go with her to where Penny is, but the suitcase gets thrown out of the car due to her terrible driving. They manage to get to the airport and need a flight to Devil's Bayou where Madame Medusa is headed. It turns out their flight is an albatross, the bird, named Orville. Bernard is a bit superstitious and leery of flying, so it doesn't help matters that there were exactly 13 steps for him to get on board the albatross, and it is considered flight number 13. A side note that I later found out, Bob Newhart was the voice of Bernard, and Ava Gabor was the voice of Bianca. Next, some background music with lyrics plays as they are flying, and the scenery changes around them. Next, we see Penny in Devil's Bayou trying to escape while well, she does escape. Madame Medusa is there with two crocodiles, they're kind of her sidekicks, as well as her assistant, Mr. Snoops. Madame Medusa sends her crocodiles after Penny to bring her back. Then she tells Snoops to send up a flare to light up the swamp so she can find Penny. Unfortunately, he does so just as Orville is getting ready to land, and Orville Bianca and Bernard come crashing down. Not long after that, Orville tries to take off to leave again because he does not want to be in that place any longer than he has to and he just wants to get out of there. But he gets hit by Medusa in her airboat. He turns out to be okay, but it definitely affects him taking off. Bernard and Bianca see the crocodiles get a hold of Penny, so they try to follow them to see where Penny is being taken. They get on a boat, which is a leaf being driven by what I think is a dragonfly. Due to fog, they can't see where they are going, and they end up getting ahead of the crocodiles. Eventually, they see the crocodiles, and after some struggles, end up at the location where they are keeping Penny. So they do manage to get there and find where Penny is being kept. We hear a little of Medusa and Snoop's plan. They want Penny because she is small and can fit into a cave to look for the diamond. Medusa says at the next low tide, she is going to put Penny in the cave and keep her down there until she finds it. High tide or no tide, she's staying down there. Bernard tells Bianca, we have to get her out of here tonight after they hear this plan of Medusa's. But then the crocodiles discover them and start to toy with them. Bernard nearly gets eaten when Medusa tells the crocs to stop that infernal racket and bops one of them on the head, knocking Bernard out of his mouth. When she sees the mouse, she begins freaking out and jumps onto a chair and tells Snoops to kill it. A comedy of errors ensues, but Bernard and Bianca manage to get back to the boat. Bernard says, maybe Rufus the cat was right. What can two little mice do? Bianca then says, the society is counting on us. We can't quit now. Penny is talking to Medusa and tells her, I have to get back to the orphanage. And Medusa asks why. So I can get adopted. She meant adopted. It was quite cute. Medusa responds, What makes you think anyone would want to home a little girl like you? This makes Penny cry. And then a sad song plays. After the song ends, they show Penny saying her prayers for Rufus and the others at the orphanage. And this entire section got me choked up because Medusa was so mean to her and then she has this heartfelt moment where she's praying for others. Next, Bernard and Bianca find Penny and tell her that they got her message in the bottle and that they are there to rescue her. She says, didn't you bring someone big with you? Like the police? They said no. But if the three of us work together and have a little faith, things will work out. Penny replies, that's what Rufus said. Faith makes things turn out right. Bernard tells her that they have to leave tonight, 
but the crocodiles are on patrol. Bianca says, oh, I wish they were locked in a cage. That gives Penny an idea, and they come up with a plan to lock the crocodiles in a cage. But before they can get her away, Snoops and Medusa take Penny to the cave. Medusa is trying to play good cop and be sweet to Penny to gain her trust so she'll do as she asks. Penny says, Teddy's afraid, which I think was her projecting that she was afraid, but she said her Teddy was afraid. And Teddy is her favorite teddy bear that she keeps with her at all times. Medusa then goes back to being her usual mean self and takes Teddy from Penny and tells her she won't get it back until she finds the diamond. The diamond is known as the Devil's Eye. Bernard and Bianca are in the cave with Penny. Bernard finds the diamond. It is inside of a skull in the cave. Penny hollers to Medusa that she found it. It's stuck tight and they have some troubles. And Medusa says, you get it or you'll never see the light of day. Penny tries to, but the water starts to come in. She tells Medusa, the water is coming in. Please let me out. Of course, Medusa says no. Bernard tells Penny to use the pirate sword that's there to pry the skull open so that he and Bianca can get the diamond out. Penny manages to do it, but more water rushes in. She eventually gets to the bucket that will pull her up out of the cave with the diamond and tells Medusa to pull her up. Snoops and Medusa fight over the diamond and the crocs grab Penny to take her back to Medusa's. Back at Medusa's, she has a gun on Snoops and Penny and tells them if either one of them tries to follow her, they get blasted. Penny asks for her teddy back. Medusa says, Teddy comes with me. I've become quite attached to him. As she is backing out the door, Bernard and Bianca trip her. She had put the diamond in the teddy bear. That's why she said she was attached to it and that was her plan to get it out of there. Then there's a chase, but Bianca, Bernard, and Penny put their plan into place and trap the crocodiles. The plan works and they manage to get away from Medusa. In the end, the diamond goes to the Smithsonian and we see that Penny was adopted. I think Bernard and Bianca are a couple now. It wasn't completely clear, but that's the feeling I got at the end. The movie ends with another call for help. Bianca immediately volunteers them. Bernard looks at the calendar and it's Friday the 13th but they head off on another case or adventure and music starts playing as they fly away. I did enjoy this one, I think partly because I hadn't seen it in so long and wasn't familiar with the story, so it was basically like watching it for the first time. I wouldn't say it was a favorite, but it definitely was entertaining and kept my interest. So there you have it, that's the movie The Rescuers. I'm happy to be getting back into these, hopefully I'll pick up doing them more frequently for you. We will see, but eventually I'll get through all of the catalog. We still got a ways to go though, being only at 1977, but I'm still enjoying it. I hope you are as well. Give it a thumbs up if you did and to support my channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll also consider doing that so you can see all the videos I have to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a magical day. Bye.